For today's video, we got some more Fortnite. And for this one, we're going to be checking out the new compression burster bow. Hurry up and buy. Which is currently available in the weekly store for 1680 gold. Sub Zero Zenith is also available in the event store for 3200 gold. And once you get him, you'll be given the Shake It Off team perk. And that's everything that's new that's been added to the event and weekly store. Also, there was a couple of free llamas, as well as a people llama that's on sale. But liquor, our prices have never been lower. It's like 50 V bucks cheaper. But yeah, just wanted to point that out. There's a couple of free llamas. Anyways, here's what the new compression burster looks like up close. The perks that came with it were impact, crit rating, physical damage, impact, damage to missed monsters and bosses, and damage dealt with this weapon snares the target. So you can put three impact perks on it. You can also choose between any element and it comes with a low crit chance. 300, wait, 300%. I believe that's the same amount we had on the boom bow, if I'm not mistaken, but it does look like we deal a little less damage than the boom bow, but we also have a little more impact. Anyways, let's go ahead and max it out. No! Almost made it obsidian. All right, so the perks we're gonna use are crit damage, crit damage, physical damage, crit rating, crit rating, and damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30% for six seconds. And at the very bottom it says sniper rifle bow hydraulic. Fires an arrow that drops over time and deals high impact damage in a half tower radius. Damage range and velocity increase with charge time. And for our loadout, we're gonna use Rabbit Raider Jonesy with the totally rocking out team perk. And for our support team, we have Breakbeat Wildcat, Swamp Knight, Main Stage Quinn, Crossbones Barrett, and Redline Ramirez. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 132 evacuate the shelter. And we're also going to do it solo. Alright, so before we get to the gameplay, I do want to test it out. And first, we're going to start off with this power level 132 Krampus. <gasps> 1.5 million. And we two shot the Smasher. Okay. We were able to one shot the blaster with the compression burster. And let's try to one shot the taker while we're at it. No, sir. Yep, 924,000. So we were able to one shot both the blaster and the taker and two shot the smasher. Anyways, here's what the fire rate looks like when you don't charge it. As you can tell, it doesn't really go anywhere. And here's what the fire rate looks like when you do charge it. It uses heavy ammo, and obviously you only get one shot before you'll have to reload. But yeah, that's what the fire rate looks like when you fully charge it. And you can kill the sploders without causing a propane tank to explode. You don't really want to aim at the right husky shield. If you see them, you're better off aiming at the ground next to their feet. Doesn't look like it destroys beehives though. What? What is this dude doing? This dude is stuck in the table. And it's not going to be able to pierce through shield or shield. And the reason we chose to evacuate the shelter is because there's not that many good power level 132 missions available at the moment. But yeah, since we're playing solo, we only have to get a total of 10 kills. And that shockwave took out 9 of them. That was a close Here they come! Keep the shelter safe! Protect the shelter until the survivors can be safely extracted. Alright, so we do have a few modifiers on this one. One increases our sniper damage. Bonus challenge is now available. Which will hopefully help us deal a little bit of extra damage. And we also have the one where they don't show up on the mini-map. And matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show y'all what we got real quick. Let's go ahead and throw up this turret. I'll go ahead and show y'all what we got on here. Uh, powerful sniper, sword ninjas, exploding death bomb, light bleach, and uncharted enemies. And how did they get up here? I'm not sure how they got up there. But we do have three defenders helping us out. Oh, we just did a million that time. And they're each using the new bow as well. And they're all up there on the roof. Looks like they're breaking in over here. Let's check this out. I did sort of run out of metal, which is not good, obviously, but we're gonna go ahead and try to finish this out anyway. How did they get up here? Oh, okay. 
They sneaky. Oh, they broke through over here. And I blocked all this off. Okay. I blocked all this off. That's all right. Anyways, when it comes to the compression burster, I would definitely consider it to be the best bow in terms of impact. Obviously, like with other hydraulic weapons, it's going to deal a lot of impact. But you can also put three impact perks on it. So I do think it's the best when it comes to impact. I don't think it's the best when it comes to damage. I still believe the boom bow is better. So if you already have the boom bow, you don't really have to max this one out. But if you missed out on the boom bow and you want something like it, then you can go ahead and try to get this one from the weekly store and max it out. It looks like they're spawning from a different direction. Uh-oh. And there's an encampment. Oh, man. We're going to have to be careful here, people. Let's go ahead and throw up a turret. And throw up a wall for some cover. And we're just going to try to take them out. I'm not even going to add any traps over there. I guess we're doing this encampment. We don't have any mini bosses on this one. Oh, how much damage was that? That looked like a lot. Yeah, we don't have any mini bosses and what are y'all doing over there? And I forgot to switch my gadget to the slow field. So we'll just go ahead and use our turrets, I guess. But yeah, if you already have the boom bow, I wouldn't even waste your perk up maxing this one out. Like I said, the only thing this one does better is that it has more impact. You can put more impact perks on it. And I think one of our defenders is down. Oh, wow. What was that? I want to try to close this off if possible. Because I don't want them going this way. Let's go ahead and try to close this off. I don't want y'all going this way. Stop going this way. And let's try to get our defenders. Oh, if we can. I think I got them. I hope I got him. Uh, obviously, this is uh, not really a good build. Didn't really have a whole lot of time to build since it was evacuate the shelter. Nope. I also didn't have any time to get the boost either. So we're going to have to be careful here. And I didn't change my loadout at all. Uh, the only thing I changed was uh, the element on our bow. Changed it to energy because I had a feeling we were going to get an element, but it doesn't look like we have one. So I probably should have just used one with the uh, physical. But we'll be alright, I think. We only got a minute and a half left. I wonder if there's any. I'm, I'm hearing exploders. Okay, I see we got a lobber over there. Let's try to get the lobber. Beautiful. We got Oh, oh no. And I guess let's go ahead and use our war cry while we're at it. Why can't I shoot? See how much damage we deal with it? Yeah, it's, it's very easy to get a million with it. It still deals pretty decent damage, even though it's not as much as the boom bow. So it, it does still do pretty decent damage. But the impact is definitely good, just like with all hydraulic weapons. And I'm starting to get nervous here. Let's go ahead and add another layer real quick. And let's try to get our defender if we can. Try to get these guys back up. Help out. But yeah, obviously we'll try to get gameplay of the other new bow. As soon as the quest becomes available, as of right now, it's not, so that's why we couldn't review it. But as soon as it becomes available, we'll try to get it and review that one, hopefully sometime tomorrow. And we'll compare the damage numbers with what we did today. I believe the most damage we did was 1.5 million. Anyways, we got a level 4 loot chest with some survivor XP, gold, storm shards, and hero XP. We also got some reperk, as well as some gold, 
and some Eye of the Storms and Snowflake tickets. But yeah, that'll do it for our first compression burster gameplay. Hope y'all enjoyed it and thanks for watching.